Let's cook a trout in the woods. But first, consider checking out some of my merch on my spread shop.
So good. <laughs> mm. So good. That was my first time eating trout. On the package it said it's a rainbow trout. This is some really good fish. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and cooking it like this is pretty good too. Like this Dano's Hot Chipotle is my favorite of the three flavors that they have. They have the regular, the spicy, and then the Hot Chipotle. And this is really good. <laughs> it's convenient to have around. So, you may have noticed this knife here. It says Clueless Bushcraft on it. And the jamon looks really cool. Look at that. It looks like flames. And the handle is maple burl. And it looks really nice. This knife was forged by Ryan from Soul of Creation. He did a really good job with this. So cool. I'll have a more dedicated video on this later, but for now, this is all the footage you'll get of it. <clears throat> I'll uh, try to use it some more, and I'll beat it up, and, uh, and tell you what I think of it. <laughs> you may have seen these too, and I've already made a short video on this already. These are metal chopsticks. These are stainless steel metal chopsticks uh, made, by, made by Austin Hensley from Hensley Handmade Knives. He makes knives, but I uh, reached out to him to see if he was able to make some chopsticks for me. And uh, he made them for me. And so far, these have been working out very well. <laughs> It's really nice hanging out in the woods like this, getting a fire going and cooking. And just sitting in silence here and just letting things run through my head and just relax. The past three weeks has been quite stressful and I haven't felt myself really, haven't felt really motivated to edit videos or make videos or do anything really 
And it's because of Raven. I got a call from the surgeon today at my vet. And uh, he said that Raven is confirmed torn her ACL. And that she'll need to have surgery to get it fixed. The problem with this though is he's booked out several months and I and like the soonest or the earliest that I can book an appointment with him to do surgery is like three four months out and within that time frame I need to I need to keep Raven on her medication so that she's comfortable and it's quite expensive like it's sixty dollars for her medication every two weeks so I gotta do that for several months up until surgery and then after surgery I'm going to be keeping her on medication also for about six weeks and so yeah for the past three weeks I just wasn't sure what was exactly wrong with her until today I just found out that she tore her ACL like we weren't a hundred percent sure and so that's why we uh, asked the surgeon to take a look at her. And so at least now we know what's going on and what the next steps are, but I'm kind of in a tight spot, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's been frustrating trying to figure things out as I go, um, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. And so I've shifted my perspective and uh, I'm not thinking about, I don't have enough money to pay for surgery. I'm thinking in the lines of, I need to make more money. And then the process is, how am I going to make more money? And so I'm bro I've broken it down to see what I can do to make more money. And so it's, it's been challenging, <laughs> but uh, Raven, I mean, right now she's healthy, she's doing fine. It's just that limp, and uh, it's, been, it's been frustrating keeping her still and inactive. And then it's going to be like that for several more months, and then a little bit longer too. So, so I've been spending all this time sort of working on myself, self-care, physical and mental, just taking it one day at a time. And a lot of people in my Discord and in my comments and stuff have asked if you can donate and you're more than welcome to donate. I don't expect it from anyone and I'm not asking anyone to, but if you really want to, um, I'm open to it. In this video, I'll have all the links and all the information down below. I'm not going to be making a GoFundMe. There's multiple ways that you can send money if you want to. Um, or if you can't send money, just watch my videos. Don't skip the ads and watch all the way through. Another way is if you have Amazon and you purchase stuff off of Amazon consistently, you can just click on my Amazon affiliate links and then go to that page and then you don't need to even add like the item to your cart all you need to do is add whatever other items you want to your cart and then check out and I'll get credit for all the other items you purchase at no extra cost to you and you don't even need to buy the item that I was trying to advertise and so that's another way that you can help support me but I have a lot of plans on hand I am going to start doing a collection of t-shirts and designs and stuff like that and they're going to be limited runs I'm planning on doing like a monthly run and they're only limited for a certain amount of time and so I'm about to try to do that I'm thinking of doing or no I'm not gonna talk about that it's gonna be a surprise <laughs> yeah there's gonna be other things that I'm gonna be doing that is gonna be pretty exciting I'm working with no I'm meeting with a company that can help me do this crowdsource sort of 
uh, project that I want to do. And I'm trying to reach out to more companies that I can work with and hopefully I can land a really good deal that could bring more income in. And I'm going to try my best to build out this YouTube community, really grow my channel. I want to get back to my roots. I want to go back to doing all of the bushcraft stuff. I did a lot of all that food stuff, you know, because that's how I've been able to get a lot of traction and a lot of views and people enjoyed it. But I personally enjoy going out here and making videos out in the woods more. It's just more convenient and easy, and easy just to eat food or make food at home. And so that's why you've been seeing more of that. And I'm going to start just posting a ton of stuff on Instagram and on Facebook and everywhere. I'm just going to just 10x all of my actions. I'm going to go back to just posting more regularly on TikTok and going to be increasing the amount of full length YouTube videos. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm hoping that this rut that I'm in uh, passes soon. And hopefully Raven does a full recovery and we can get back to normal. <laughs> and that way, so Raven and I can go on adventures again in the woods. But no more playing fetch in the woods. That was what tore her ACL. And if anyone is anyone is interested in this, this is called the Winterwell Titanium Fast Fold Camp Stove. I'll have a link down below to the Amazon to the Amazon listing. Uh, if you do purchase through Amazon, I will get credit for it. So, yeah, it'll be really cool if you purchase this item through there. I am a brand ambassador for uh, Winterwell but uh, they pretty much just pay me through product and they haven't really paid me more for my videos. They have paid me, but it would be cool to be able to acquire some commissions or to get paid more. It'd be really cool. But I mean, for now, I'm happy with just getting product and I'm happy with getting commissions through affiliate marketing on Amazon. So if you want to buy this, you can. But the thing is, I was actually the one who bought this. Like I bought this first uh, for like 500, $600 or something like that. It comes with like a pipe and a top cover also, but I've just been using it like this. And like I bought this myself. Uh, and all the other stuff from Winterwell that you've seen is gifts from them. But yeah, this specifically is something that I bought myself. You'll notice, you'll notice this right here. This is a cardboard and duct tape sheath that I made uh, for the knife because I asked him not to give me a sheath because I want to do my own project where I make a leather sheath for this knife. But temporarily, it's gonna be sitting in this. <laughs> And that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and consider buying some of my merch from my spread shop. Now, I just want to give a special thanks to spread shop also because they are my longest running sponsor. And uh, I think I'm coming up almost a year now maybe already a year um, working with them. They hold a very special place in my heart because they, they were my first sponsor and they've been my longest sponsor. Uh, they've helped me pretty much do all of this full time because of their sponsorship. And uh, I'm going to try to focus more on how I can help them grow because they've helped me grow so much. And so I'm going to do projects, like I said, where I'm doing limited run designs 
and so look forward to that and special thanks to all of my other partnerships but a big thanks to my patreon supporters i kind of just don't have anything that i'm doing with it right now and it's mostly just a spot where you can help support me monthly or help fund certain projects or just help fund ravens like uh, emergency fund even and it's sort of like just sponsoring certain things that I've done and I'm not necessarily giving out really big rewards or anything right now but I'm going to find something that I can do so a huge thanks to everyone that uh, supports me through patreon and check out my website and uh, tell me what you think of it I'm gonna uh, I've been trying to add more stuff to it and uh, I will continue to add more stuff but yeah it's getting dark. It's a little late now. I'm gonna head on home. And yeah, I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the woods next time. Alright, peace out.